One of the most talked about downsides of the Google Pixel Fold is the fact that there are a lot of applications that when you launch them on this tablet display simply fail to adequately use all of the space available. That is because these apps like Twitter simply do not have a tablet layout to go into. So what Google has decided to do here is to keep them in their phone-ish layout and not just stretch them out in a sort of useless or unappealing way. You can debate whether or not that was the right decision or not. You can kind of move them around a little bit to make them easier to reach. But at any rate, these apps don't have a tablet layout. So they just don't really work all that well on the inner screen. Now, of course, if you were to split screen with these applications, they're going to look and work quite well. But if you want to just use that one app, you're left kind of thinking, man, I wish this thing did what some other apps did, like maybe a YouTube that actually do flow into a tablet layout, which makes good use of the large screen. In this video, I'm going to show you a way to fix this for quite a few apps. And let's start off with Twitter. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fire up your Chrome web browser and you're gonna go to twitter.com. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, if you're just telling me to go to the web browser and go to twitter.com, that's not a great solution. But no, there's actually more to the story than just that. What you're gonna do is click on your three dots and scroll down and look for an option that will be right here that says install Twitter. What we're doing is we're going to install this as a progressive web app, a PWA. Whenever you click on that, it will actually be installed in your app drawer, just like you can see here. One of these is the app, one of these is the web app. From there, you can literally put this thing on your taskbar, put it on your desktop, whatever you want to do. It's going to act just like a real application. In fact, whenever you click on a Twitter link elsewhere, you can actually have it set where it will launch that web app again, just like a regular app. Let me fire it up and I'll show you what it looks like. I think that's the one here. Yes, this is the web app. And looking at this, does this look like anything but an actual normal app for your phone? It looks and behaves pretty much just like a real app, but the difference is you actually get a tablet layout. A cool thing here too is if we go to the cover display and fire things back up again, you will see that it sort of reflows itself into a better layout for a phone display. Open it back up and it's going to reflow into that tablet layout. This actually works shockingly well. Let's go check out another one though. Perhaps you're someone that uses Facebook. As you can see here, same thing. It's not using the full screen real estate. So we're gonna repeat this process. Go to facebook.com, click on your three dots and install that web app and it should work a lot better. Let's do that. As you can see here, this is already a little bit better. It, it, at least it's filling up the entire screen space, right? So let's click on our dots. Let's do install app, install. And you can see down here that that should be done momentarily. We've got one Facebook app and now we have two. Let's click on that web app. That immediately looks better to me. The only downside with this is sometimes when you scroll down, you get that little bar up there. But as long as you're scrolling the other direction, you're scrolling up, which I guess this is down and that's up. This should be an improved experience. And then you can uninstall the Facebook app. It should also be doing fewer things in the background because it's just a web app. Now, unfortunately, one that acts really weird is Instagram. You would think if you install this web app, you're going to get this layout in your web app. But strangely enough, I tried this and you still get a scrunched up view. This is the web app, but for some reason, it just doesn't want to work correctly. So Instagram is just doubly stupid, I guess. One more really good one I'll show you is Reddit. I think that this is the Reddit app. Again, you can see it. it's really, really scrunched into the middle. If we launch the Reddit web app, again, I've gone to the website, I've installed it as a PWA. As you can see here, it is the full desktop experience. It is a far better experience on the larger screen. And just like before, just to demonstrate this, if we open it up on the cover display, it's a little bit weird, right? Because it is still showing the desktop layout, but zoomed out, but it's not too big of a deal to zoom in and scroll through it like that from there. Now, of course, not all apps have a website and not all apps will allow you to install that website as a PWA. One of my most used apps that I wish had a tablet layout is the Wise app and it does not have a tablet layout. It does not have a proper web app. It does not allow you to install anything as a PWA. So there's no option to do that. So again, this does not solve the problem for all apps, but it does solve it for some. And you may be surprised how many in, in fact does solve it for. So if you have an app that isn't working right, go to their website, see what it looks like, and see if you can use Chrome to install that bad boy as a PWA. It may 
solve some real big problems for you. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy. Man.